there are many banks uh, that are uh, now available to choose from in India. Uh, a lot of these banks have international tie-ups. They have tied up with people already in the business from all over the world. Uh, most of these banks have invested a lot in their infrastructure. So the business model of the company that's running the bank, the uh, group that's behind it, the tie-up that they have internationally, all that would go a long way in deciding uh, to a certain extent the reliability of the availability of your samples and the protection of your samples. Uh, these samples are going to be stored for a long period of time. It's, uh, as of now, the contracts are mostly for 21 years and they would be extendable depending on the viability of those cells. So it's going to be a long-term relationship and one should choose carefully. Uh, there is also the factor of accreditation which is uh, available now for most of these banks and some of them have got accreditation from uh, agencies not just in India but also all over the world. And these uh, standards are uh, set for certain benchmarks that the company must achieve in terms of storage, in terms of retrieval and for their facilities as well. So I would obviously uh, prefer somebody who has these standards met and is accredited from a known international body. Uh, there are other things that the banks would offer to you. Uh, there would be bundled packages, some would offer insurance, some would offer uh, splitting the sample and storing it at different sites. Basically, uh, all this goes a long way in choosing uh, which facility you would want to go with. Uh, finally, I think uh, a little back check on the people that you're dealing with, the kind of professionalism that they show in the way they approach the whole thing and in the way you're handled uh, would go a long way in choosing uh, which bank you should bank with. Uh, on the concept of stem cell uh, therapy and the use of stem cells in human medicine, I am fully convinced.